How you doing? My name is Sensei Serge Sanyovi. I'm the owner and head instructor of Urban Martial Arts. A lot of parents usually ask what style is better, karate or taekwondo. In this video, I'm going to help you guys make an informed decision. Well, one of the main differences between karate and taekwondo is karate is Japanese based and, and uh, taekwondo is Korean based. Karate and Taekwondo, the similarities that they have is they both are striking arts. What I mean by that is they both primarily have more of the same kicks, blocks, and punches. A little thing different is more like Judo or uh, Jiu Jitsu, where it's not a striking art, where it's more submissions and throws, where it's a completely different art. Well, if you go into uh, a karate school and you ask them, you're not too sure if I want to learn karate or taekwondo, obviously someone like myself who's so passionate about karate and I can see the difference that it makes in people's lives, obviously I'll be a little partial to it. And if you go into a taekwondo school, it'll be more of the same. Well, most parents put their kids in martial arts classes because they want a benefit. They want some, They want a bit of a change in their kids' lives, okay? So most of the time they'll do it because they're looking, maybe the kid is being bullied at school, maybe the kid is a bully, maybe the kid has uh, learning disabilities, maybe the kid is overweight. There's tons of things why parents put their kids in uh, martial arts programs. So we want to make sure that this martial arts school that you decide to choose is the best fit for you and your family. So there's definitely a couple of different differences between karate and taekwondo. But ultimately, as a parent, you want to make sure that those styles are going to teach your kids the benefits that you're looking for. Well, two of the most important things is you want to find a school that you like and find an instructor that you like. Most martial arts schools will give out orientation classes. That's something you should definitely try out because that'll give you a good vibe on how the instructor teaches and you can get a good vibe of how the class is run. You want to make sure that the school is well maintained, you want to make sure it's a clean school, great lighting, and you want to make sure it's a really good vibe for you and your family. You want to make sure that it's a culture that embraces you and your family because sometimes some parents won't get that family vibe. Some schools have a different feel, some schools feel like a corporation, some schools feel like a family. You want to make sure if you want that corporation feel, that's great. If you want a family vibe, that's great also. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable every time you're there because you're making a commitment to being there a lot. You want to make sure the instructor is really passionate about what he does. Sometimes as karate instructors, there can be times where they can get burned out and there's things that that can happen, but you want to make sure that they're really passionate and they're really happy about doing what they're doing. And when you see it, you'll just know it. Well, also, you want to make sure that that instructor is pushing your child to their best potential because if they're not and they're kind of just um, letting them do what they want to do, that's not what the parent brought your kid in there for. So you want to make sure you push them to their best potential and then help them. After you push them, then you praise them a bit. At the orientation, you should ask a lot of questions. So at the end of the orientation, you should be able to make an informed decision on if this is the right school for you. 